Bali, the name of a famous beautiful island located in the Lesser Sunda Islands, is known as a heaven on earth. The island is known for its scenic beauty, mesmerizing beaches, traditional culture, and warm hospitality of the Indonesian people. However, not many people know about the history and origin of the name Bali. In this video, we will explore the theories that exist about the name and try to find the origin of the name Bali. Before we dive deep into the origin of the name Bali, let's first look at the three initial names for Bali Island. The three names were Wali, Bali, and Banten, all of which have the same meaning, which is, offering. These three names are based on several inscriptions found. The Blanjong inscription, dated 913 AD, mentions Wali Dwipa. The Gobleg inscription, dated 983 AD, mentions Dini in Bali. The Raja Jayapangas inscription, dated 1181 AD, mentions Bali Dwipa. The Langahan inscription, dated 1337 AD, mentions Pulau Banten. Meanwhile, in the Regweda holy book, Bali is also mentioned to refer to many things about Hindu culture in India. In addition, the word Bali is also found in various other Hindu holy books. There are several theories about the origin of the name Bali. One theory is that the name Bali comes from the Sanskrit language, which means, mighty strength. Based on the fact that Bali is mentioned in several holy books, Ikatut Liana, a writer of Hindu religious books, concluded that the name Bali comes from Sanskrit. If we believe that the name Bali does indeed come from Sanskrit, it is worth looking at the place where this culture originated, namely India, specifically the eastern coastal part of India. In ancient India, the Odisha state was a place where the region called the Kalinga Valley was located. It is not known for sure whether these names were the names of a state or a kingdom. But what can be confirmed is that these three places were where ancient Indians settled, such as Kalinga people, Kadinya people, Chola people, Pandya people, Malayalam people, and Khan Adigan people. In the first century, these three regions were the territory of the Satavahana dynasty kingdom, and during this time, there was a massive sending of diplomatic expeditions to the Nusantara region to search for gold and food supplies. This was due to the economic reform policy of Rome, which was implemented by Emperor Vespasianus, who closed the export doors of the entire region in 70 AD. In the Nusantara region, they spread from the extinct areas in Cambodia to Vietnam, Sumatra Java, and to the regions of the Lesser Sunda Islands, which were mostly occupied by the Kao and Malay peoples. While the Malay Peninsula was occupied by a combination of the Kau and Kalinya people, Sumatra was inhabited by the Chala Vanya Malayalam people, while Kandis and Jambi regions were occupied by the Kalinga people. Similarly, Java and the Lesser Sunda Islands were dominated by the Kalingan people. According to research by I. Gusti Putu Palganadi, there are many cultural similarities and lifestyles between present-day Odisha and Bali. Furthermore, there is an ancient festival that is celebrated both in Bali and Odisha. This festival is called Njembak Jenny in Bali and Dola Yatra in Odisha. Njembak Jenny and Dola Yatra are both celebrated in the month of March, during the full moon day. During the festival, people splash each other with colored water and smear each other's faces with colored powder. In Bali, this festival is also associated with fire, and people light torches and throw them at each other. The festival in Odisha is celebrated in a similar way, with people dancing and singing and indulging in festive foods. Apart from the festival, there are many other cultural similarities between the two regions. For example, both Odisha and Bali have a rich tradition of dance and music, and their traditional art forms reflect their shared cultural heritage. Both regions are also known for their beautiful handicrafts, including textiles, woodwork, and pottery. Furthermore, the lifestyle in both regions is similar, with people in both places placing a strong emphasis on community and family. Both regions also have a strong connection to their natural surroundings, with agriculture and fishing being important sources of livelihood. In conclusion, while Odisha and Bali are separated by thousands of miles, they share a deep cultural connection that is reflected in their festivals, art, and way of life. Exploring these similarities can help us better appreciate the diversity and richness of human culture. 